We uh, posted a video a couple of days ago, a few days ago, about uh, whose headline was, put your ass where your heart wants to be. And uh, this is kind of a mantra that I've used in my own writing over the years to kind of get me organized. And, uh, but I've been thinking about that a little bit and I think I want to do, I want to go deeper into this. I want to do a whole series on this. So we may be doing one a week, two a week, but I'm going to do this over time because this is, uh, I know this, the mantra sounds a little glib because it has the word ass in it, but it's not. It's a very deep philosophy that goes many levels. And so I want to really get into that over time here. So first of all, who is this for? Who is put your ass where your heart wants to be? Who is it for? This is for writers, it's for artists, it's for dancers, for singers, for actors, for filmmakers, for anybody in the arts at all, for anybody that's in any kind of entrepreneurial business. It's for the Korean vegan, the lady lawyer who is a partner who quit her job at a law firm and to be a podcaster and to do Korean vegan recipes. In other words, it's for anybody that is on their own following a dream. Anybody that has to wake up that has no structure, that doesn't have an academic structure or a corporate structure or a military structure, anyone that wakes up in the morning and looks in the mirror and goes, oh my God, what am I gonna do today? How am I gonna get it together? Because we all know that working on your own, pursuing a dream, you run into tremendous natural obstacles. You have barriers to entry, you have competitors, rivals, money issues, issues with your family, issues with your own personal life. All of these are obstacles in the way, but the biggest obstacle of all is right here inside our own heads. The concept that I call resistance with a capital R. Our own tendency to procrastinate, to give in to self-doubt and fear, to sabotage ourselves, to yield to distractions, to perfectionism, to arrogance, to complacency, to all the things that stop us in our own heads from pursuing our dream. So the question then becomes, how do we overcome that? And I swear that in this seemingly glib phrase, put your ass where your heart wants to be, is an entire philosophy that works. Now, last week we talked about put your ass where your heart wants to be, meaning if you want to write, put your physical body in front of a keyboard. If you want to dance, put your physical body in the studio. If you want to play the piano, put your body before that keyboard. But that is only the physical level, only the superficial level, the first thought that we come to in this. But the idea of this concept goes into the metaphysical level, it goes into the spiritual level, it goes into areas that involve karma and all kinds of other stuff. When we commit, meaning put our ass on the line, amazing things happen. Not just to us, we change, that's for sure, but the world changes in its reaction to us and the universe changes in its action to us. So I'm excited to get into this because I'm learning as I articulate this as well. So this is what's going to be coming up over the next few weeks and I'm going to keep this going once a week, twice a week until we take it all the way to the end and we've exhausted the concept of put your ass where your heart wants to be.